We've seen incredible amount of students in Los Angeles trying to access mental health. We've had student walkouts around this. We've had a huge amount of fear. And the fear also is even deeper because for a lot of these DACA students, it's a fear that you can't trust anybody. These students knowingly and willingly trusted their government when they say, give us your information and sign up for this program. To think that the government that you trusted, your own government, is now going to use that information, potentially, to go after you is one of the most fearful things that anyone could ever go through, that your government will actually try to do harm to you. On the other hand, the other amazing, beautiful thing we've seen is a whole new generation of young people getting active. In the face of that fear, we've seen places where uh, students have been targeted, and we've seen entire communities come out and support those families and those students. We're going to need to remi remember that as we move forward and really think about ways that all of us as educators, whether we chose to be on the front lines or not, have an incredible responsibility now to protect our students emotionally, but also physically from what's, you know, what's being threatened now by this DACA change.